When I was doing my internship here, the head groundskeeper at the time told me that there was only one woman that has the head groundskeeper job in Major League Baseball. At that moment, I said to myself that I was going to be the second. My name is Nicole Sherry. I'm the head groundskeeper for the Baltimore Orioles, and this is how I work. We are at Oriole Park at Camden Yards, home of the Baltimore Orioles. This is the crown jewel of Baltimore City. All right, come over, match up. Good, good, good. As head groundskeeper, my job is to oversee the playability and aesthetics of the playing field. When we talk about playability of the field, we're talking about how an athlete can perform his or her job on that field. There are 81 home games, and I want them to show up knowing that it's perfect. You know, every blade of grass has to be absolutely perfect. Every part of that infield skin or dirt has to be groomed. Every angle, every edge has to be precise. Every sunflower seed picked up because if we let those little things go, then everything else will kind of unravel as well. A lot of people see that we're out here mowing grass, raking dirt, but science is a major part of my job. Turf grass science, agriculture, horticulture, entomology, meteorology. The biggest challenge day to day is the weather. You want to make every effort to play that game every single night. You have a lot riding on that game. You have a fan base that comes to see the game. You have TV, you have advertising, you have concessions. My job is to monitor the weather. I need to keep everybody as updated as possible so we can prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Take it all the way to the wall and hustle back. Wall and hustle back. Let's go. Come on. So just to be safe, I canceled batting practice for both teams and put the tarp on, and we ended up just getting a really nice light shower. I am lucky to have this position here with the Orioles. It's very hard to become a head groundskeeper in the major leagues because not only is it one of 30 jobs, once somebody gets a position in Major League Baseball, it's very rare that they leave to move on to another career. Out of those 30 people, there are only two women who have the role of head groundskeeper, myself and Heather Nabosny, who is the head groundskeeper for the Detroit Tigers. That's two women ever to have this position in Major League Baseball history. To get to the big leagues, you have to work through the ranks, from internship to an assistant to head groundskeeper in minor leagues to eventually head groundskeeper. Basically, I took the same steps that a major league athlete would take. In 11 seasons as head groundskeeper, I've never had to take a sick day. It's physically demanding. You know, you're out there in the heat. You're actually doing physical labor. We're there for sometimes 13 hours straight for 10 days in a row. I mean, I'd be a fool not to like think that, you know, the perception of a woman in a quote-unquote male-dominated field, you know, you have so many stereotypes to break through. You constantly have to prove yourself day in, day out. The 30 minutes right before a game actually starts is probably the most hectic part of the day. You have 30 people going all at once, they're putting down the lines, the batter's box are in, is it straight? Are the foul lines straight? Is the watering of the dirt, is it too heavy? Is it not heavy enough? How's it feel under your feet? But at the same time as everything else is going on, they're doing a ceremonial first pitches. Guys are warming up in the outfield. You have possibly like clouds that just rolled over the stadium, so you have to always adjust. My mind goes like a hamster wheel while I'm just standing there watering the dirt and I look like I'm just in a zen moment. So I'm just trying to make sure that everything is falling into place the way it is. I walk past a ton of little girls in those stands and they're like, oh, there's a girl, there's a girl. And they like point to me and I'm like, yeah. And I want them to see me out there because I want them to see me doing the exact same thing that all these guys are doing. And then when they find out that I am the leader of the crew, that makes it become more normal. It's a grind, and it's not for just everybody. You have to have a certain kind of, I guess, passion, and you're crazy to have a job like this and still love it. 
Doesn't matter what time the game is, as soon as that game is over, we're out there for at least an hour trying to get the field in shape to start our day again. I feel like I'm a member of this team because there are days where we work nonstop. We don't get a break, we don't get sleep, and we put our blood, sweat, and tears out there into every ounce of that field. We want to make sure that they play on a perfect field at all times, and then when they win, we win.